welcome back to the book of Exodus. Today we're in chapter 34, today verses 5 and 6. Let's uh, carry on. Uh, the people are trying to show their repentance. They've taken off their jewelry and adornment. And verses 5 and 6. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to the sons of Israel, You are an obstinate people. Should I go up in your midst for one moment, I would destroy you. Now therefore put off your ornaments from you, that I may know what I shall do with you. So the sons of Israel stripped themselves of the, their ornaments from Mount Horeb onward. Now this kind of helps us understand yesterday, and it sort of goes with yesterday. Uh, but yes, what had happened before what we talked about yesterday was God had warned the people. Uh, you know, you're, you're on the verge of being destroyed because I'm a holy God. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, I... Uh, you're on the verge of being destroyed because of that. You, 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 you guys need to sort things out because you're wanting me to go up with you and I'm a holy God. So would you come up higher? Come up higher. Let's come up to higher ground. And so God had instructed them, take off your ornaments so that I can figure out what's in your heart. So the people had done it. We read about that yesterday. They stripped themselves of their ornaments. Well, here we see there was actually a command from God and they responded to that command. When God makes a command and you do what he says, that is showing what's in your heart. So here these people have stripped themselves and uh, yeah, that's the right thing. That's the right stuff. And it says from Mount Horeb onward, and onward's an added word here, but uh, we do understand from the context and so on that after Mount Sinai, uh, the people stayed they, they stayed away. They stayed away from adornment as what they had done up to this. Remember, they were a band of of uh, confused slaves from a pantheistic, God is everywhere, God is in everything. Uh, this was the culture that surrounded them and, and began to permeate into them. Uh, and so now, you know, they're unlearning a bunch of that stuff. So they've got a ways to go. Uh, think about the impacts that must be around you and I. There's a lot of things we've picked up we do not even know uh, because we're so permeated by the culture around us. But friend, we can do differently and as we get more of the Bible in, we'll have more of the world out. Bible in, world out. Bible in, God's ways in. Bible in and uh, fallen man's ways out. So we can show what we're made of by following God's directives, God's commands, and saying yes, sir, and being glad as we do it. God loves us when we obey cheerfully. We may not understand every prohibition, we may say, what's wrong with a little bit of adornment here? What's wrong with a few ornaments? God says, I'm asking you to take off your ornaments so I can decide what I'm going to do with you. That's a hint to us. We need, we've need we got the right amount of holes in our face. We don't need to add more. Uh, and so let's try to do what God says. So today, even in today's world, uh, I think it's more important than ever that we have a standard in the church that we do not draw attention to ourselves, that we... Uh, follow God's plan, that we uh, denude ourselves of ornamentation and that we minimize that piece uh, completely so that we can set the right witness to who. Here's a people, you know, people should look at Christians and say, look at these people. They dress simply, they talk in a kind and a way with dignity. They don't use random, mindless swearing like we hear today on the internet, YouTube videos, and this and stuff. These are people who are, uh, you would want to be your neighbor. These are people you could say, look, I've got these animals. I'm going on a trip for a week. Uh, my garden, you know, you could, would I, could I trust you to water my garden, to feed my, feed my dog? These are people that you could say, yeah, oh, my neighbors are great. We'd love to have them. They'll take care of everything for us. They'll bring in the mail. They'll bring the garbage can back in when we're gone. Um, yeah, we want to be that kind of people. And that kind of people are not, generally speaking, a kind of people who look, you know, like something out of Mad Max or something, all right? So, hey, maybe, you know, if I've offended somebody here, maybe you needed to be offended, but I hope I didn't offend anybody. I hope I gave you some food for thought. How we appear says something about the one who we claim to serve. So, friend, it's, it's, it's in the 2020s, right? So it's like, uh, this is dinosaur-type language. Fine, but let me say to you, I'm reading it right out of the book of Exodus. Wouldn't it be good for us to demonstrate our repentance, our deep repentance for the, uh, the amount of culture we've allowed to corrupt and invade our hearts and minds? Wouldn't it be good for us if we uh, took off our ornaments and showed that we simply don't need those, what we need is Jesus. Friend, have a great day. We'll see you back tomorrow morning.